you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have some deep cleaning, spring deep cleaning of my office. We are going to be doing some regular cleaning as long as as well as deep cleaning over my by my dog's area. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. You can also follow me over on Instagram. I share more of like my son and my normal day stuff. You can also go like my Facebook page. That would also really, really help me out, and I'm always super grateful for it. So today we're going to be starting off in my office on day one. This was filmed over, I do believe, four days, and we are going to be dusting those shelves because, as you just seen a moment ago, they were so gross. I only do this maybe every couple of months or so, and I finally actually got this shelf decorated because I I really am not great at decorating like at all so it took me almost a year to get these shelves the way that I want them and like them so this is the first time I'm cleaning it since I've decorated it um which is super great I, I'm not sure some of the pieces up there I'm not thrilled with some don't really mesh with my style but you know, I made it work, and I still have to put some pictures, like real pictures, in some of the picture frames I have up here. I haven't even done that yet. So if you're anything like me, then you know how it is. Um, so this particular day, you'll see my outfit change a little bit here and there, because I didn't get to do this all in one sitting. I had to, you know, do regular mom duties. I had to make lunch. I did have his grandmother over that day, but, you know, she is very old, so I still have to do the diaper changing and the food making and things like that, so this was done through parts of the day, you know, not all at once, which is totally fine because not everybody has the ability to do all of this deep cleaning in one sitting, and that's totally perfectly okay. Uh, if you're anything like me. Oh, I just wanted to show you those blue light glasses. If you're in the market for blue light glasses, those are my favorite. They came with five different pairs. I did link them in the description below. But on these shelves, I needed to do a little bit of decluttering and organizing because it was definitely a mess. This is where I keep my Cricut and, like, all of my loose end papers. I kind of just throw them there. And so it becomes a mess really, really quickly. I'm so excited. I finally got my first candle wax warmer. This one is from Yankee Candle. I picked this up from my local grocery store. Um, I did link it in the description from their actual website. I tried to link it from Amazon, but they did not have this specific one available. So just so you know, it's not from Amazon that I have it linked. I have it linked from their actual website. <laughs> spray bottle I have a Mrs. Myers multi-purpose spray in a basil scent it is my favorite scent from the multi-purpose Mrs. Myers cleaner like my favorite scent it just makes everything smell so fresh and like herbs and I really really love it and I totally suggest you to try it too so now moving on to my staircases yes they're not painted that is a project that hopefully is coming up soon. I am using my Dyson V11 outsize vacuum with um, an attachment that came with it when I bought it. Um, this vacuum is definitely in the higher price range for sure. So later in the video, I will show you a more low budget vacuum that I still love. It's not as great as my Dyson. I mean, you know, 
you get what you pay for with vacuums, in my opinion. Um, this one was still great quality for as low as the price was, for sure. and hitting the floors with my Bona hardwood floor mop. Um, I love this thing for quick moppings in small areas for sure. I feel like it adds like a little bit of a layer of protection on the hardwood floors which is great in my opinion because I'm constantly dropping things and denting my floors so I feel like that kind of puts a little bit of a buffer to help prevent those scratches and those dings and dents that happen. <laughs> Moving on to day two. This one was a big one for me. This is like the main dog area, like Charlie's area that he hangs out in the most. This is where he eats and drinks. So these floors get treacherous, like completely treacherous, especially that rug right there because the sliding glass door is where we let him outside to go to the bathroom. And then right next to it is where he eats and where we store his toys, his food, and his towels. Yes, we have a whole basket of towels just for our dog. He slobbers a lot. So there's always, you know, drool and and his feet get wet from coming in from outside because we live on a lake. So I feel like the grass is a little bit wetter here than at normal like properties here in New York, in my opinion. So we're going to be deep cleaning those walls behind where his food thing is because they get filled with, you know, little crumbs and bits of food. And I'm going to be disinfecting his food bowl thing. I don't do this as often as I should, and I really should get better at it. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any projects like that or any tasks like that that you know for a fact you should do more often, but you just don't get to. <laughs> Yuck, I know that was only a little bit, but the fact that even that much comes off of the windows kind of grosses me out, but that's real life here, and so now I'm moving on to the bar area, which is basically right next to where I keep all of the dog stuff. Um, this tends to get cluttered really fast, even though we don't actually use the bar that much. It's kind of a catch-all space. It's a bad habit that both me and my husband have. One, because the fridge right there that you just saw is our main fridge. The fridge in our kitchen does not work, like, at all. Um, and we don't see any point in replacing the fridge right now at this current time because we plan to have the kitchen completely redone in 2023. Um, that's how far back scheduling is for... Um, contractors that do kitchens that's like the earliest that we could get the kitchen redone so that's why this happens all the time and here I'm using Dawn power wash and my trusty scrub daddy sponge I swear I swear by these things I love them um, they're temperature controlled so if they're cold they're harder if they're warm they're super soft <laughs> Uh, 
that after of that sink was so incredibly satisfying. Um, I just wanted to take a minute here to say thank you if you're a returning subscriber. And if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of my community here on Karina Cleans. I appreciate you all. And you are the reason that I am here making these videos, helping you get things done in your house every week. And I am so happy that you chose me to help you get these things done. I don't know if you actually get up and do things while you're doing these videos or if you're sitting back relaxing, drinking a cup of coffee, watching me get all the work done, but whatever you're doing when you're watching this video, thank you and I appreciate you so, so much. So here on my floors, um, I am using a Bissell Crosswave, a Bissell Corded Crosswave. This is their original Crosswave. I do have their new cordless um, X7 Pet Pro Crosswave. Now, I got this one before I got that one, obviously. I love this one, but my only issue with this one is it really doesn't get off that dried on dog drool. So if you don't have a slobbery dog like I do, then this would probably be a better option for you if you're okay with a corded cross wave that you have to clean yourself, which is not that big of a deal. I mean, it is a little bit of a pain in the butt in my opinion, but for the price difference between this one and the cordless one, it's, it's on like believable honestly like the difference in prices uh, this one is definitely a more powerful machine it pulls up more it does a better job of cleaning the floors other than not being able to get on that dried off dog drool <laughs> So I just wanted to introduce myself to anyone that might be new watching these videos. I am Karina. I am a wife and a new mom to a 16 month old boy. His name is Remington. He's my, pr my pride and my joy. And I am a stay at home mom. I started staying home, um, I would like to say about three months before I actually got pregnant with him because I got pregnant with him right in the smack of the pandemic. Uh, 2020, he is a full pandemic baby. Ugh, gross. See, this is why I love that thing. Look how disgusting these floors were. And I had to empty this. This is the first time I'm emptying it. I will empty it one more time um, before these floors are actually finished. But yeah, so I just wanted to introduce myself a little bit. And so if you're new here, don't be shy. Go ahead and introduce yourself down in the comments below. I would love to get to know you guys.
we are moving on to day three. So my little boy is not such a little boy anymore. He is now technically a toddler and he has not been laying down for his diaper changes anymore. So we are going to be converting. We're trying to potty train. <laughs> so this pack and play has got to go. There's no reason for it. It's another catch-all space. It's a bad habit to have, so it's got to go. I know we all have those in the house, those catch-all spaces, and we have one too many of those around here. So I'm trying to break one bad habits, and two, he doesn't really use it anymore. He doesn't sleep in it. He doesn't let me change his diaper on it, so there is no point in keeping it around anymore. <laughs> so a little bit later here, I have some unboxing of a product that I really, really like that I will show you in just a moment. Here I'm going to be using my draft multi-purpose wipes to wipe down his toilet and the trash can and right after this we will be decluttering this diaper cart so I call it. Um, this thing has been around for months and months and months and it's served so many different purposes um, for all of the baby products. Here on the bottom I'm going to be decluttering and getting rid of all of those shoes that no longer fit his little cute feet and taking away all of that medicine since we are getting over a sickness here in our house which was a disaster it was the first time he was ever sick my husband was sick i didn't feel great it was a horrible week previous so i'm glad that everybody is back to better health and things are starting to get back to normal around here and here's that product that i'm so excited to show you this is um a little toddler sink by Delta Children, I do believe is the brand. I do have it linked in the description below. This thing is so cute. It is like a miniature sink that, because I don't know if you have toddlers, but it's really hard to, for at least my son, he doesn't like to be held while washing his hands. He liked to, He likes to do it on his own, so this was kind of a solution for me to let him do those things on his own and so far he's really liked it I mean it's it took him maybe like two or three days to get used to it but now that he has gotten used to it he after using the little potty he goes right over he waits for me to put soap in his hands and he you know he doesn't like wash his hands fully but he's getting the motions down of washing his hands which was the goal here now we're moving on to day four. My master bedroom got totally abused and forgotten for that past week because everybody was so sick. So I am playing catch up in here. We will not be doing any deep cleaning in this room. We are doing the basics, the picking up, the putting the way, wiping. I actually, I didn't even wipe anything down, vacuuming, making the bed, the simple things.
since I'm bringing you into my master bedroom for the first time, I have to make a confession. I collect Squishamellows. I love Squishamellows. It's definitely more of a childish thing, but I cannot get enough of them. They are just so cute. <laughs> I can't help myself. And being that I've always been a stuffed animal lover, the fact that they came out with these collectibles, little stuffed animals, I literally couldn't resist myself. I have one too many to count, and this is only half of my collection here that you'll see in my bedroom. I keep so many more, and sometimes when I buy them, I have to hide them from my husband. Not because the money that I'm spending, but because I have to hide them because of all the space that they, that they take up. So I don't know if it's just a me thing or a we thing. My closet is always a complete disaster like this. I, this is definitely one of those places in my home that I can't keep tidy. It doesn't matter how many times I pick it up throughout the week. It's still a disaster. I try on like six different things and then I throw them all on the floor. Um, and I forget to hang them back up because I'm a busy parent. I'm a busy, you know, stay at home mom. I have a dog and a son to take care of. I know so many more people probably have so many more things on their plate, but this is definitely something that I can't get to all of the time and just, it just gets destroyed. Let me know if you have a space like that in your house that you just can't ever seem to keep clean. So I had so many clothes to put away. I am extremely grateful for that week that I was sick that my mother-in-law really, really helped me out. She did a lot of my laundry for me, being that I don't have a washer and dryer in my house yet. That room um, is a work in progress. We will be having a laundry room sometime, hopefully in the next couple of months in our house. Um, I cannot wait. I hate going to laundromat. Anybody that goes to laundromat probably feels the same way. But this was this is the vacuum that I was talking about. So this is a Bissell um, Pet Slim corded vacuum. It has two settings on it. It has a hardwood floor setting and an area rug setting. So the little spinny brush doesn't spin when it is on a hardwood floor mode, which I really, really appreciate because it, it saves the hardwood floors from being scratched up. It really does. And it does a phenomenal job. I think the only downfall to this vacuum, um, for me at least because my rooms are so large, is the cord was very, very short. Now, it's probably perfectly okay if you don't have as big as rooms as I do, so I would definitely recommend this to somebody. I mean, I would ask you a couple of questions first, if you had pets, hardwood floors, carpets, all of those things. I don't ever just recommend one vacuum to a variety of people because everybody's situation is completely different. For you guys, 
So I got these Crest 3D white strips because I use those like every other day or so. Those are great. You know, Ziploc bags. I feel like they're cheaper on Amazon because they do the subscribe and save, which saves me 15%. I got some wipes and some diapers down here. I got, I get these every month. These hair vitamins, they're sugar bears. I feel like they've helped a lot. Everything will be linked in the description below. And then I got some hard, hard floor sanitizer. I use this in my cross waves, which is great dog treats because those are Charlie's favorite oh, these are just some more Ziploc bags I didn't open that yet and then my Clorox toilet wand refills these are great I use them all the time just some dishwasher pots and then what's in this box let me open it for you guys they're just the Izzy sodas. They're cheaper off Amazon, again, because I get the 15% off because I haven't delivered monthly or every other month. It depends. I can never seem to find these anymore at like BJ's or any of those whole food markets because I guess they've become really popular because they're like a no sugar, yeah, no added sugar, no preservatives soda, so they're a lot healthier for you then like Sprite or Coca-Cola. And then over here, I just have some Boblays. These are great too. They're a seltzer water. They're not related to like sodas or anything like that. They taste completely different to the Izzy sodas. My husband actually really, really likes these. Um, I like some of the flavors, but some of them are not my thing. And then here, I just have my son's toddler um, formula, the Enfamil uh, Premium Toddler Nutritional Drink. Uh, most toddlers are just drinking regular, you know, like 2% milk, but it seems to bother his stomach, so we've had to do this, which is honestly the more expensive route, but it's better for his stomach. And that's pretty much all I got. Oh, I did get some stuff from Thrive Market. Um, I'm not going to get too into Thrive Market because I have a love-hate relationship with them. But I do order some stuff from there. Oh, what is it? It's just two of these oatmeal, oatmeal things, which are really good. What are these ones? They're the blueberry lemon. to my son's room now we're not going to be doing any like serious deep cleaning in here but it did need a nice thorough clean um one because he was sick and two i'm also playing catch up in his room from everybody being so ill for that past week so a lot a lot a lot of things got put off um, my priorities were just elsewhere and that's okay because sometimes life happens and that's just how it is. You know, things get pushed off. And so I had a lot of laundry to catch up on. There was bottles in his room. His floors were dirty. His bed needed to be cleaned. His bathroom was a disaster. You name it, it happened in this room.
So I was not joking when I said I had a lot of catch up to play. Um, I had some diapers that didn't even fit him anymore in the closet that I needed to get rid of. There was diapers underneath his changing table that no longer fit him anymore that I had to I, I don't get rid of them, but I either save them or donate them to somebody in need. His changing table was gross. It needed to be replaced. His diaper pail was full. You name it. Seriously, it, it was happening in this room. It was insane the amount of time that I took to clean this room. And I wasn't even doing anything serious. I was just doing basics. So this is your reminder right now to remember to wipe down the railings of your children's cribs or beds and if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I am so grateful if you made it this long in this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you and you're the reason that I am here. Here I am using JAWS glass cleaner. JAWS stands for Just Add Water System. So it's really cool. It's these reusable bottles that you just buy these pods and you fill it up with water to the little line and then you pop in the little pod and you twist it and all the cleaner um, distributes throughout the water. You give it a little shake and it's all good to go. It's, it's honestly it's cheaper and it helps it really helps the environment i swear by these products they're not only non-toxic but they're fantastic at performance like i compare them often to other products like you know windex and it performs the same it really really does if not better So here to clean the toilet, I am using Clorox toilet wand. If you still have a traditional toilet bowl brush, throw it away. Just throw it away. They're so gross. They build up germs. These are little reuse, well not reusable, disposable things that you pop on, you clean the toilet really quick, and you throw it out. So you're not carrying around all of those germs from toilet to toilet if you have multiple toilets. You know, it's just so much more sanitary in, in my opinion and the price really is the same as buying the toilet cleaner that you go around the rim. So I highly recommend that. So we're almost done here with this video. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much and I'll see you next week. Bye!